The fate of the $3 billion redevelopment of Toondah Harbour is now in the hands of the Federal Environment Minister. While the controversial project has the support of both state and local governments, environmentalists fear it'll endanger local wildlife. 3,600 units, a 400 berth marina, the Toondah Harbour redevelopment is a step closer to reality. Local people have stood up. Local people want this project. After five years and 26,000 public submissions, the Walker Group's amended environmental impact statement has finally been handed to the Federal Environment Minister. The project from its first master plan a number of years ago is now 40% smaller and fits within uh, the priority development area that the state have endorsed. The EIS has proven the science and I've always said if a science stacks up, it's a project that's worthy of considering for our city. But concerns remain for the internationally protected site known as the Ram are wetlands and the marine species and birds that inhabit it, particularly the eastern curlew. That is a wonderful bird that is um, critically endangered and this really is its last stronghold here in Australia. The port's been operating for 60 years with 1.2 million people passing through every year. This project is about fixing that port which is currently unsafe. We need to make sure it's internationally attractive particularly with the Olympic Games. The Minister has 40 business days to consider the proposal but due to its complexity, that could be extended by another 70 days. Even if approved, the first sod won't be turned until 2025. It'll be another two decades before Toondah Harbour is complete. Samantha Heathwood, 7 News.